Well, I did something stupid the other day, and I, I decided to go shopping on Craigslist, and um, I picked up this thing. Um, it's been in my shop for the last 10 days. I'm just doing things to it. It's just, just it was just suffering from a lot of neglect, put it that way. But um, it's, it's sort of working now. Um, I've done all the same things to this that I did to my Honda. I'm working on it. Um, Here's a good one. It's got the extended swing arm on the clutch, although I'm going to move it out maybe four millimeter more that way because I found out yesterday that when I pull this baby here, uh, the clutch is all the way out here and it's all the way in by about here. So I want to lengthen the frictions, the slip zone here. So anyway, um, it's missing this fender right now, which is why I'm not riding it at the moment. It did come with some extras on it. I had to replace the chain and the sprockets. Uh, the air filter housing was all um, damaged. I had to super glue it back together. It's got uh, things holding it in place now. Didn't have these guys. These are just some things I found in the shop. I had this uh, hydraulic clutch lying around. I took all the junk off here for the light because it doesn't even work anyway. Um, it's got these Devol guards on both ends. Um, took off the original odometer because it was broken. Uh, that used to sit up here. Um, I took off the cable in the other shed too because it just kind of made it look useless. Anyway, um, I drained the fuel last night out of... What I've been doing is taking this hose off the tap and running a thing down to the uh, 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 gas tank. But then I realized that the stuff that's in the float is the float bowl of the carburetor is probably still there, so here's some another change I made. Um, most bikes have a thumb switch over here. I think this is the freaking stupidest thing in the phone book, seriously, because sometimes you're in a position where you, you don't, you're not able to hold this clutch in. It was a very awkward move, and you need both of your hands free while the engine is shutting down, like you don't have to hold it down for all the time that it takes for the engine to cycle down. So I replaced it with one of these guys here. question is, does this thing start? Um, so choke up. Fuel is off, but that's okay. Switch goes on. Oh yeah, I gotta replace this kickstand too. This thing is almost broken off. It's it's in pretty bad shape. Oops. Well, I guess it is out of fuel now, huh. which is kind of what I was hoping for, because, well, it didn't take long to drain the bowl. Hmm. Shit, well. Huh. Oh, let's see, what else did I do? Uh, new sprockets, I went from 1247 to 1350. Um, uh, new pegs are on the way. It's got Devol radiator guards, FMF fatty pipe, sticker that's good through October, some kind of FMF exhaust, I don't know what. Um, yeah, just needs a bunch of little things, that's all. I'm doing my usual things to the uh, front brake and the clutch turning into a very light one finger. I'm going to move the pegs down and back. Uh, this shit has got to go, in fact I can't stand these bars. Um, previous owner powder coated the frame black, which is actually kind of nice, but this gas tank looks so fucking hideous on this, it's not even, uh, so do these shrouds. Anyway, that shit's gotta go. It's just really annoying me. This needs a little bit of color up here. I haven't, uh, quite decided on what to do, but it's gonna be a, um, uh, sort of contrasty color, a sort of, uh, hmm, what's the right word I'm looking for here? Complementary color. That's it. Anyway, um, stay tuned, guys. I'm going to uh, keep you posted on this thing, and I hope to go for a ride as early as Friday if the weather cooperates.